Hi everybody, welcome to the third video on hearing from God. So I've talked about being in the place where we want to obey God. I've talked about stilling the mind and stilling the emotions. Now, once we're in that place of peace and you know God is there and you don't have to be productive and he's not looking for anything that you've done. It's just what you are. You're just his as you are. At that point, you can start to pour your heart out to him. And I would encourage you to, at that point, just start talking to him. I call it Christian mindfulness, to tell God everything that's happening. If you want to hear God's voice, there are so many times in the Bible where it says, David said, God, blah, 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 and God said, the answer. Elijah does it, Elisha does it, Isaiah does it, and Jesus did it. And I looked at those passages once before and I thought, God, why are they telling you things you know? They literally say, God, this just happened and that just happened and that just happened. And God knows it just happened. But God hasn't had them tell him. And when we tell him, we're starting a communication with him. We're starting a conversation with him where we're saying, I'm telling you because I want to hear back from you. And we tell him from our point of view. Remember that praying is not complaining. We tell God, we don't complain to God. We can complain about the situation. It makes me feel this, it makes me feel that. Like Hannah did when she went into the temple. I have no child, but I know you can do something about it. God of hosts, which means God of war. Do something about it. If you do something about it, I'll give him back to you. But she didn't complain and say, this is all your fault and I hate you for it. Because when you start a conversation with God like that, it's the same as if you started one with me like that. Whoa, I can't reply to that. I'm not going to be able to converse with you because you're not going to hear what I have to say usually. Come to God wanting to obey. Still your heart, still your mind and tell him all of it. Tell him. Just tell him and be in that communication place with him. In the next video, I want to talk about how then you hear his voice. But for now, go before your God. Be quiet. Be still. Be you and give him all of yourself. And if you can, develop this throughout the day, a mindful Christianity where you say, Lord, this person just said this to me. Lord, isn't that a beautiful flower? Lord, what a lovely bin. It's gonna give you a peaceful mind and it's also going to give you the open door for him to communicate with you. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And it's the last bit that has the key. In all your ways, acknowledge him. In everything, talk to him. In everything, tell him. In everything, tell him the minute details of everything. And he will direct you. He will communicate with you. He will talk to you. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.